Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel. So today we are back with another Let's Renovate po um, part, I guess I should say. But in today's Let's Renovate video, we are actually renovating a house that Miss Griffey built. So yeah, if you guys don't know who Miss Griffey is, I don't know how you wouldn't know that already. But yeah, if you're not new to my channel, if you've been around for a while, you will know that Miss Griffey and I actually did a collab video, I don't know, a few months ago by now, I think. Yeah, I think it was a few months ago. I think it was just after Seasons came out, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, we actually, we've actually done a collab together before, and this isn't really a collab since she didn't build this house specifically for me. But about a few days ago, she actually contact me, contacted me on Twitter and she said, hey, I know you're looking for houses for your Re Let's Renovate series and that she built this house um, last year for April Fools. And she built this for April Fools as her dream house, but obviously since it was for April Fools Day, she, yeah, she built a very rundown house and stuff and I actually just went back today and watched a video of that and listen to her commentary and everything and it was actually hilarious <laughs> listening to her talk about this house in its rundown state in a way that made it seem like she actually wanted things like that like like she would actually want this house to have you know mismatched counters and you know crooked counters and lots of cracks and overgrown grass and all of that stuff it was actually really funny listening to that voiceover but yeah i'll link the or original video of her building this in the description and probably on the screen as well if i remember to <laughs> but yeah i'll also leave a link to her channel obviously i'll leave that in the description as well but yeah so this house started out as a two bedroom one and a half bathroom although i don't think you could call it one and a half since there was a full bathroom upstairs, but then downstairs she had what she called a toilet closet. Which was a two by one room with literally just a toilet in it. So yeah, I don't think that really counts as a half bathroom. But yeah, so right now I did turn it into a three bedroom, two bathroom, you know, family home and everything. I did change the outside up quite a bit. Well, not, I didn't change it that much. I did add a few pop-out bits and expand it just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, and I moved it forward on the lot to have a bit more backyard space and all of that. But yeah, I also tried to keep you know a lot of the warm colors on the outside that she had. She had some light brown siding, so I wanted to add some darker brown siding and some wood accents and you know just make it look. I don't know. I really like how this house turned out for some reason. I don't know why, but I've been really liking, you know, suburban houses recently, and this is definitely one of the houses that I really like. Definitely a style that I really like. But yeah, the inside is actually kind of the complete opposite of of the outside. Now that I think about it, it does have dark wood floors, but all of the furniture is blue. Okay, not all of it is blue, but. <laughs> There's a very strong blue theme throughout the whole house, even throughout the kids' bedrooms and the master bedrooms and everything. But yeah, I used a lot of lighter woods on the inside for the furniture and then as I said, blues. I don't know why I chose blue. I think a part of my brain was thinking of Tanya and how she kind of has this running joke on her channel that all of her builds have at least one blue room in them. And yeah, it's kind of like a running joke at this point, but I think that's why my brain was, you know, leaning more towards the blue for some reason. I normally don't do that much blue in a build, or no, this much blue I should say, but I even used the blue parenthood counters and some blue accent walls and, you know, a lot. there's a lot of blue, but I think it works. I think it looks really nice. It's very cohesive, so there's that. I mean, that's a good thing. But yeah, I also used some of the new items that we got in the patch, not yesterday, on Thursday. Yeah, you're seeing this on Saturday, so two days ago. On Thursday, we got a new patch for The Sims, and it's a free patch, obviously. But we got some new content with it, and that you know, fern wallpaper is one of the things that we got. And I actually love it. I do wish that it came with a few more, I, can, I think kind of like neutral swatches. Or that at least the wood siding at the bottom, the baseboard, 
would come in a few more different swatches. I don't know, I'm, I'm not saying that correctly, but there are a lot of really cool swatches for the upper parts of the wallpaper. But then the, you know, the baseboard colors come in like either a super dark kind of like black wood or a white. And you can't really, they have, you know, the patterned version and then you have a plain version without the ferns. But yeah, those two don't really match up. So let's say for example, you have a blue fern pattern. But I think the blue ferns have a white baseboard. But then you get the blue plain version and then the baseboard. I think it's called the baseboard. I could be saying this completely wrong, but I think it's called the baseboard or something. The siding or whatever is then in the plain version, the siding would be really dark black. So they don't really go together all that well. They don't match up. So I do end up using them with, in combination with just that plain bluish kind of wall. Since I thought the ferns throughout the, all the whole house for every wall was a bit much. And I did want to use them kind of more like accent walls, I guess I should say. But yeah, I do go, as I said, for a lot of blue. And I think it all started with the wallpaper, with the paint on the walls, and then with the counters. And then when I got to choosing the curtains, I was kind of like just, well, oh, whatever. I'm just using blue and that's it. So yeah, it's very blue. But I also did cut out doing the bathrooms. I usually cut out doing bathrooms. I don't know why I did it for this build, but I was just looking over the footage and looking at the bathrooms and they really are not that interesting to watch. I mean, I use the same um, plumbing objects in both of them. They have the same color scheme, the same wallpaper, everything. So they're basically copies of each other and I do include screenshots always of all of the bathrooms in the build. So you can see them there. And you can also obviously see them if you download the build. Which the, it isn't up on the gallery as I'm recording this but it will be up. If not at the time that this goes live just soon after it probably. Um, I'm not going to be here probably not going to be at home tomorrow when this goes live. So, yeah, I don't know if I will have it up before then. It just depends how my morning goes on Saturday. But, yeah, so my Saturday is going to be really busy. I need to be up. I need. We're going to be out of the house by 11 o'clock. And we won't probably won't be back before, I think, like, maybe like 6 o'clock. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, my nephew has his last rugby game of the season. He's playing for the South African rugby team, the under 18s and they're playing against England actually it's, there, it's, his, it's his last match of the year before he leaves school and yeah I'm really excited for it I really hope they win <laughs> if I'm honest I do hope they win but yeah we're go all going to that as a family and stuff so that's where I'm going to be for most of the day which is why I'm recording this at a quarter to one in the morning because I'm not going to have time tomorrow to record it on Saturday, so I need to finish it. But yeah, as I I think I lost my train of thought there for a second. But what I was saying is it's not on the gallery yet. Because when I finished this, the gallery was actually down for maintenance. So I couldn't upload it. But it will be up on the gallery. Just keep your eyes out for that. It's up on the gallery under the hashtag CYLet'sRenovate. Or under the hashtag ChrissyYork. I also uploaded, it's obviously on my gallery page, which is always linked in the description. My gallery ID is just Chrissy York, so you can find that really easily. And yeah, I also, I think I used hashtag Miss Griffey as well, so you can even just search that. But yeah, it is three bedroom, two bathroom, it's on a 20 by 15 lot, so it's on a really small lot in Willow Creek. And it is completely custom content free. I don't use any custom content for these builds, for these Let's Renovate builds. Because I do want you guys to be able to download them for your own games. And if I use custom content, it just makes it a lot harder since not everyone uses custom content or can use it or wants to use it or whatever. So they're always going to be custom content free. And if you guys want to upload some more builds for me to renovate, they don't have to be um, homes or residential lots. They can even be 
you can even upload an apartment for me under rooms you can upload an apartment for me to renovate you can upload community lots for me to renovate you, you know anything basically just give me a brief description of the lot or a brief description of what you want the lot to be so if it's going to be some kind of residential lot like an apartment or a house tell me how many bedrooms it needs to have or and you know what what the ages are of the children or what their genders are or something like that and if it's going to be a community lot maybe tell me what style you want it to be if you want it to be renovated in a more retro style or modern style or you know something like that if you don't tell me that i will just you know use my imagination and come up with something but yeah feel free to upload some lots with for me um just use the hashtag cy let's renovate up on the gallery when you upload your builds and yeah you can use any packs for them just as i said no custom content please and yeah any packs at all i have everything so that's no problem also tell me if i need to restrict the packs that i use if you guys only have certain packs tell me which ones you have so that i can restrict the ball to only those packs to only using those packs when i renovate it but yeah i think that's everything about the build and yeah if you guys are new to the channel and you like the idea of the series or it sounds cool or you know you want to see any of my other content i do post speed builds i post this let's renovate series i'm rebuilding all of the worlds currently i do create the sims i even have a let's play running on my channel that goes up every sunday you know unless something you know happens and i can't upload it on a sunday but yeah, I do update you guys with the, uh, about that stuff like that over on Twitter. I always update you guys if I can't upload something or if something's late or you know changing, swapping places, something else or stuff like that over on Twitter. And my Twitter is always linked in the description as well if you guys want to give me a follow over there. But yeah, as I said, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and stick around to you know see more of my videos. And remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of every time that I upload a new video. I do try and upload at least four times a week. And sometimes I will post an extra video here or there like last, you know, like today actually, but for you guys it will be yesterday. I uploaded a base game and jungle adventures only build, vacation build, to, sell it, to kind of play around with the new stuff that we got in the patch. So yeah, I do sometimes upload little extra videos here and there. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone. Like a wrecking ball, we can break them all to a higher ground. We will not be found. We can win the game. We can go insane like a shooting star. Don't you want? Like a wrecking ball, we can break them all to a higher ground. We will not be found. We can win the game. We can go insane like a shooting star. Don't you wanna stay? Hey.
Like a wrecking ball, we can break them all. 